if you want. We had a video plan for today. We were actually going to mow uh, another yard. Uh, we're not going to show this one really on mowing, but we're going to show you some bidding that we did on some landscaping. And we also have some sad news for at least our family and maybe some of the people that subscribed. I know they were watching the goat videos. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, thanks. So at this time of year, we're thinking about you know a lot of different stuff that we're going to be doing next year uh we already have people that's calling you know wanting quotes for mowing maybe want us to start at the end of the year and so uh kind of looking forward to next year and thinking about prices that you know everything's going up so you need to consider that either if you're going to raise the prices next year or raise them now you need to take that in consideration uh the landscaping that we're going to show you is actually in another town close to us but it is close enough for us to get to and, and get back pretty easy we usually don't work over there but we'll take you along and show you what we're doing so i'm up here looking at some landscaping to do i don't know exactly what all he's wanting done yet but a lot of maybe trimming and bush removal and some maybe different style landscaping. This is a food court. It's got two different ends on it. Both of them are pretty well decorated. Just uh, been a while since they've done anything with it, I guess. Section over here too. Pretty big job. over here even according to what he wants done this could be a pretty big one it's like some dead bushes and stuff in it so it it would at least need cleaned up I don't know what else besides that I don't know if he's wanting to do mulch or change rock or what so one thing to keep in mind when you're doing the bids on uh, landscaping and hedge trimming uh, how much material are you going to have to haul are you going to haul several loads off uh, how much material you got to get rid of if there's a price for you actually getting rid of the stuff so say if you're going to you know have to pay a landfill or if you've got somewhere free you can dump it you need to take that in consideration too when you're you're bending those jobs
So I was telling you we had some kind of sad news for our family. Uh, what the sad news is, the little buck that we had had banded, um, it actually passed away. I don't think it was nothing to do with the banding. He just got sick. Started having diarrhea. We couldn't get it to stop. We did different things we were told to do. But it just didn't work. So now we're just down to these two. Considering maybe breeding them in the spring. I don't know if we'll, we'll continue or not. But she looks lonely. You lonely? You're mean to him. You might be lonely. Well, these two seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, they haven't been really sick. Sweet Tooth did, which is this one. Uh, had diarrhea for a day or two. And she's okay now. And Annie really hasn't been sick for a while. What are you doing? You don't like the GoPro? You don't like the GoPro, do you? Now hold the GoPro. <laughs> I got the GoPro. <laughs> oh, man. At least she's feeling good. Thanks for watching. Sorry it was a kind of a bad news episode, but we, you know, it's it's farm animals, so we expect stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, it gets better. Thank you for watching. Bye.